Okay, uh, Gene and I are in our yard. Uh, we decided to pick a location. That way is south, that way is east, and that way is west, obviously. So this gets a little morning sun, but you can see we've got it back placed in here where it's very shaded. So we're going to set it up here, set up the bee house right here that we showed you a little earlier. Set it up in here, and it's, it's uh, both sides, so it's got to be so that both sides are out. So we'll put this right here. And that's a good shape spot. And then Gene, if you want to grab the, the cocoons in one of those boxes, I'll explain how we're going to put them in these boxes. Sometimes you can overthink things. What we're told is with uh, leaf cutter bees, you don't have to go to the same uh, process as those blue orchard bees. So we're going to use a housing uh, product we, <laughs> we used for blue mason bees last year. And we're simply going to put some cocoons in here and lay them out and set them near the, uh, the other habitat. So with that, okay, Jim, I'm going to... Besides that, the other reason we chose this spot, besides that it's uh, cool and all sh always shaded, is that it's right next to the rose garden and the leaf cutters prefer rose leaves. So this will give them a, a reason to stay here once they come out as opposed to flying away. So we're going to put them all in there, right? Yep. The whole thing, right? Yeah. So this is one quart. So you can see, I'm not sure how well, but you can see. So we're going to put that right in here, right next to it. And it's pretty warm already. I'm assuming it's at least in the 90s now, right? Oh, it is. It definitely is. So, uh, this is our first habitat setup. We'll see how that works. Uh, Jim is going up to his place th today and uh, pretty much duplicate the same process there, uh, but at a higher altitude and a cooler temperature. We'll see what happens. And I will also bring a temperature and humidity monitor and place it here just to, so we can have some more information. Okay, uh, next time we'll see uh, the Master Garden in Payson. That's it. Okay, uh, we've, uh, from what you saw before, we've reconfigured it. Uh, we've laid it down horizontally. It's a little more stable that way. We put the bee house down here. We are concerned about uh, predators like rodents or... Uh, or birds. Uh, Gene's going to come back, you know, in the morning, obviously early, and check on it and see if there's any have come out. Um, but we also might put some chicken wire over this. In addition, we put one of our uh, uh, temperature and data monitors. Right now, I just brought it in from outside, from inside where it was in the 70s. It's warming up, but it should be. We'll have a record of humidity and temperature here. It's about an hour since we placed these out. I just want to come out and check the temperature. You can see the temperature is 95 with the relative humidity of 20. And so this is a good shady spot as you can see. Um, it's uh, now like two in the afternoon. The sun is uh, above us. And so uh, I think this is gonna be a good location. One thing I am concerned about is I saw some birds on the ground here as I came around the corner, not right here but over around the corner, so I will inform Gene, maybe we do need those uh, screens on here. But let's see what happens tomorrow morning.